So the other day I showed you how to use Nmap to do port scanning, if you watch my Bash Scripts tutorials, my command line tutorials. Um, and at the time I had you install Zenmap as well. And Zenmap is basically a graphical front end for Nmap. So for you people who are afraid of the command line, you can still do port scanning with Nmap. So you just start up Zenmap once you have it installed, it should be in your menu. And uh, when you run it, you're going to get this message if you run it as a regular user. You're trying to run Zenmap as a non-root user. Some Nmap options need root privileges to work. So you click OK and it starts up the program. So really, if you're going to get into some scans, you're going to want to run this as root. So you can uh, usually in the menu, uh, your, your main menu when it's installed, there's an option that says run as root. Or you can just sudo Zenmap on the command line. and uh, type in your password and you'll get Zenmap running as root. So here we go. And uh, basically the uh, it's it's like Nmap uh, but it has a lot of presets here and categorizes your your uh, port scans in different ways. So I'm just going to type in uh, uh, 127.0.0.1 so I'm going to scan my local machine and there's some presets here on what you want to scan. Uh, the fault there is intensive scan, so I'm just going to leave that, and that creates this command. So now you can also just go and copy and paste this command into your command line, or we can just click scan here. So I'm scanning my local machine with all these options, do 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 do, certain ports it's scanning, and uh, as it says, this is an intensive scan, so it might take a little bit to scan it all, and there we go. So it gives us basic output. This is the output that you would see in the command line with nmap. Color code's a little bit nicer here um, and gives you a bunch of information. Uh, if you did uh, multiple machines, they'd all be listed here. We might do that here in a moment. Uh, here, you can just look at just the ports that were scanned and if they're opened and whatnot. Uh, and you got some other visual things here. You can see the penguins here because it did a, a OS scan and it knows that I'm running Linux. It tells you that down here tells you that it's 100% sure that I'm running Linux with one of these, you know, kernel in that range. Sometimes it's a little bit less because it's just doing certain things to try to guess what operating system you're running. So, and you have little other menus you can drop down here. And scans, this is uh, just, uh, you know, a history, basically. Uh, these are hosts and then services, so if I just wanted to see all machines with SSH, I can click on that. I only scanned one machine. Let's do a range of machines. I'll just do 192.168.1, and I'll put an ash. No, I'm not going to put an asterisk because that will take a while. I'll do. I'll do one through ten here, and I will do a quick scan. And I will scan. And um, there, it's already bringing up stuff here. Uh, I do want to mention that I'm doing one through ten because my network's set up a little different on most. Um, Linksys or home networks, uh, your range will probably be 100 and on up for machines. I have my computer set up a little bit different on my local network here. But it did that scan pretty quick. It found uh, a number of machines and it didn't do an intensive scan. This one already knew that I'm running Linux. It's my local machine. But you can click on these and see what's open. Out of all these, they're all almost running Linux. Um, I can also do a service scan, see which ones have SSH, which ones have a web server running, they all do, um, all except for one, yeah. So, and this is actually a repeat. This one here and this one here, this they're the same machine. This is from when I did the first scan. So if we did a more intensive scan on this, it would bring up the same information there. So uh, we can also look at uh, this. You know, I think that just shows how far away each machine is. Since they're all on my local network, they're all just like one hop away. If I was scanning other subnetworks or remote machines, that just probably get bigger and bigger, and they probably get further away. Uh, host details, so I can go here. Since we did a quick scan on these, it's not bringing up much information. If I did the intensive scan, it would pretty much definitely tell me what operating system these are running. And once again, we have our history of scans. So if you want to go back and do the same scan again, you can save these. Uh, you can remember these commands to type in a command line if you want to go back and start using nmap from the command line. Um, so these presets are great. And that's a quick look at Zenmap. 
Uh, you can uh, save your scanned information and uh, I actually haven't messed with too many of these options because I usually just use nmap from the command line. But that's a quick look at ZenMap, and I hope you enjoyed this. Visit filmsbychris.com or bashscripts.info for more video tutorials like this on open source uh, software. Have a great day.